Hey there, today I'm gonna walk you through how to make this super cute Halloween pizza. It's a pumpkin shaped pizza and basically you're just gonna take the Sip by Go recipe for sheet pan pizza and use some of the tips from today to make the pumpkin shape pizza. So first you need to start playing with that dough. If you're new to working with homemade pizza, you can grab my Sip by Go tutorial on YouTube for how to stretch pizza dough. You don't have to throw it in the air, but I do have a technique that gets it nice and, you know, stretchy. One thing you can do is leave out the pizza dough for quite a few hours before baking the pizza. So you're not taking it from a cold fridge and putting it in the oven. So anyways, once your dough is stretched, it's time to make the shape. Luckily, the pumpkin shape is pretty forgiving. You just wanna make a round pizza. And then I used a pizza cutter to shave off the edge to make it kind of that round pumpkin shape and also used some of that excess dough that I cut off as a stem and a little leaf thing that you'll see all come together later. It kind of also looked like an apple at this point, but I had faith that it was going to be a beautiful pumpkin pizza and lo and behold it was. So first thing I want you to do is put some olive oil on a sheet pan and then put the dough on top and then bake it par bake it for about eight minutes at 425 degrees Fahrenheit so the dough sets. This is really important so you don't have soggy pizza dough. And then when it comes out, it's time to add the toppings. Now you can raise the oven to about 450 degrees Fahrenheit so the cheese gets nice and bubbly, but just do whatever toppings you'd like. What I did here though to make it the pumpkin shape is to use pepperoni that was cut into triangles and then pepperoni that was diced for the mouth. So there are the eyes, nose, and mouth of the jack-o'-lantern pizza. And then you wanna bake it for about 10 to 15 minutes. I'd keep on checking it and rotate it in the oven so all of the edges of the pizza crust turn nice and golden brown. At the end, you can use some basil or cilantro or whatever kind of herbs you'd like to get that stem and the little leaf thing if you choose to have one as well, looking good and looking separate from the rest of the pizza shape. Again, you can print all the directions for how to make pizza at Sip Bite Go, but I hope you make this awesome Halloween pizza. It's so tasty, so good, and who does not love that festive shape? Anyways, till next time, I hope you have a great day. Cheers.